Well, good evening, everyone. We're so glad to see you this evening. We're going over uh, a subject that we talk about often, but we don't practice enough. I said we talk about it often, but we don't practice it enough. It's the armor of God. You know, if we practice the armor of God on a daily basis, that we would be, uh, we would have the victory, and we wouldn't be defeated by uh, our enemy, the uh, Lucifer, the devil, Satan, and his demons. Now let's look at it now. Ephesians chapter six. Galatians, Ephesians. Verse 10. Finally, my brethren, that's saved people. This was um, the Apostle Paul writing to the saints at Ephesus, Ephesian Christians. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Do you know that uh, in warfare, you've got to have strength. You've got to be strong. Now, God has never uh, taught that the battle with Satan was going to be an easy thing. But one thing that, that God has taught is that the, the, the battle will never be won by you and I. It, we can't win the battle. We are absolutely inefficient and unable. And it's absolutely impossible to win any battle over Satan. He will beat us every time. You, you, you can't beat Satan. Only one can beat Satan is God Almighty. He's only one. We're no match for him. Sometime he might try to, he, he's so, um, it's said that he's wily and, and uh, he's like a snake, you know. That's the way the devil is, he, he's like a snake. And just when you think he might be stepping and going a little the other way, all of a sudden, quicker than you can wink your eye, he shoot over at you and, and bite you and sting you with his venom and cause you to lose. We're in Ephesians 6, starting with verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Whose might? God's might. Put on the whole armor of God. Now it says here that there's the whole armor of God. It just it just doesn't say that there's one item. Now there's one item is a, a more important and stronger than any of the others. But in order to win, how many items do we have to have? All. Put on the whole armor of God. How many items are there? Well, how, how, does anybody know how, how many are there? Dirt about with truth. Breast pray to righteousness. Feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, what's above all? Huh? No. Shield of faith. Above all, the shield of faith. Then the next one is the helmet of salvation. And the last one is what? The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So how many, how many, uh, uh, how many armor things do we have? Six. How many, how many defensive armor pieces do we have? Five. How many offensive armor pieces do we have? One. Six pieces all together, five defensive, one offensive, the Word of God. So, it says here that ye may be able to stand against the... See, the, the devil is wily. He's, he's tricky. He'll fool you in a minute. You think you're smart? You think you're slick? You ain't no match for the devil. Only God, only God that can can provide us, you and I, if we're Christians, if we're born again, blood-washed Christians, like that poor girl.
she seemed like a nice girl at Burger King yesterday. She's the first, she's the first uh, person through a drive-thru that I've ever had in my life that has taken and put the uh, cream and artificial sweetener in my coffee and mixed it. <laughs> she done it right at the window. And I said, you sure you're going to heaven? She says, oh yeah, I'm going to heaven. I says, why are you going to heaven? She says, because I, I, I don't do nothing wrong. I says, she didn't do my wrong. I said, what about your sin? Get this. This is the one that will knock the socks off you. She says, oh, my sin, that's been taken care of by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, she, she, had, a, she had the right answer, but she didn't understand the first thing about it. First thing, she didn't even realize she had sin. So what kind of uh, what kind of sin uh, are you going to cover if you don't have no sin? <laughs> That's what she taught. Well, she didn't. Have, she didn't. You see, her, her problem was she knew some terminology, but she ain't got a clue what it's about. She didn't have a clue about the blood of Christ and what it was about. It was the cleansing of our sin. So it says here. Verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. I used to, we, we used to have a fellow come to my church in, in uh, the Mission Church in Milwaukee, and, and he went to Maranatha Baptist Bible College. And, and, and he was a wrestler, 198-pound class as heavyweight. And, and, and he was a college student. And he went, uh, I forget where he went to school. But he was, he was gold medal Olympic. Now that was back in the uh, 80s. Now do you know in, in the Olympics in the 80s that America, they had to use college boys for Olympics. Now the Russians and all of the communist nations, East Germany, and all of the communists, any communist nation, they, they use professional wrestlers. So they were using professionals against college. Now, now, America uses professionals also, and this, it has for quite a while now. But in those days, 198-pound class heavyweight, Ben Peterson and his brother, the Peterson brothers, they were both gold medalists, one twice and one once. Silver for the other one, the other kind. They were the best of the best. So the best America had in college athlete wrestlers the Russians and East Germans and Ru Russians and East Germans were the best besides a couple in America, which were just college boys. The other were professional athletes. Uh, and anyway, but they had to be the best. Now, who's the best? God is the best. How good are we? No good. How strong are we? No strength. Every, every kind of victory that we're ever going to have against Satan is going to be because we put on the armor of God. Uh, how many pieces do we have put on? One, two, three, four, five, or six. Now the shield of faith Above all, the shield of faith. Is faith enough? No. No. It's one. How many need? Two? No. Do you need three? No. Do you need four? No. Do you need five? No. Do you need six? Yes. Put on the whole armor of God. It doesn't just say the shield of faith. It says, it says everything. The whole deal. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. The rulers of darkness. You know what I say about people a lot of times when I know someone or, 
who they are, what their organization is, what is, I say, I say this about them. They're darkness. They're darkness. The devil is darkness. What is Jesus? What is God? Light. The light of the world is Jesus, isn't it? Amen. I don't, I'll never turn the lights off. Like wherever I sleep, they got lights on. You say, I like it to be pitch black, not me. Boogeyman, the devil might sneak around and jump on you. Huh? He might get you. I want it light. I say, you, what do you do? In the bedroom, what do you do? Turn the light on. Which one? One right above me, look in my eyes. <laughs> you have any trouble sleeping? It? No. You know what else I pray all uh, I play all night too? Music. Old time gospel music. I, 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 I play it all night. If I ain't playing the music all night, listening to it, I'm playing the Bible all night. When I say the Bible, I say King James Bible. I play it. Listen to it all night. Play the music all night. You say I gotta have it dark and quiet. Oh no, look out! Devil gonna jump on you. <laughs> did, did the devil ever get after you? How many devil ever get after you? How many of you? Uh, how many of you? Uh, uh, he tried to get after you today. Anybody have Bill try to get after him today? I did. Sure did. Everybody, 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 everybody. Yesterday, yes. Day, yes, 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 yes. Every day of your life, the devil coming after you. So what do you got to have on every day of your life? Armor of God. Put on a whole armor of God. You better be diligent to name it and trust it and win. Win. Win over the power of God. Win over the power of Satan through the power of God. Get spiritual wickedness in high places. More spiritual wickedness. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. What uh, what day do you think the evil day is? Every day is the evil day. 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 Sunday might be, uh, 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 you know what the preacher said that was on the TV here and, and, and he was given a, 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 a he was given a, a, a sermon against a uh, the uh, internet and and the, the smartphone and and uh, texting and, and and he said he he told the wiles and and the terribleness of pornography. Uh, 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 you know what's the uh, 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 you know what's the worst day uh, of of the week for pornography? Take a guess. Sunday, Sunday. Worst day for pornography. Sunday. You say, oh, devil ain't going to mess with, uh, with God's day Sunday. Highest hits on pornography Sunday, huh? Yeah. That's what statistics tell us, Sunday. Oh, that pornography going to be way down. No, it's a big day. You know, what the, uh, you know what the worst day in the year is for pornography? Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day. Worst day in the year for hits on pornography. That's what the man that surveyed it. I mean, just secular survey. It was just, I mean, it was just statistics. Not from saved people, but just worldly statistics. So what day of the week does he hit more than any? Sunday. What day of the year does he hit worse than any? Thanksgiving. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. How many pieces are to the armor? How, how many pieces? Come on, church, talk to me. Six. Six. Talk to me when I'm talking to you, church. I, then I know you're, you're awake. I know that the, I know the enemy doesn't have you hogtied. You're off somewhere else. You know what? Some people, sometimes people come to church uh, and I know this because other people have seen them because they sit behind them in church. They've been sitting in church, my church, and other people's church, watching pornography in the church. In the church! In the church! People are so overwhelmed with filth and demons. 
But you can't even stay wherever we have something right over here. And he had that. He didn't last here long, a couple days, because we figured him out. He had to have that iPad with him all the time. You know where he had it? He was sitting over here at the eating tables, and he had it down here under the table. One fellow walked around behind him on the table behind him. He says, Pastor, you, 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 you know what that new fellow, you, you know what he's watching sitting over there by the eating table? Looking at it under the table like that. I walked behind him. He watched pornography. He didn't last long. A couple of days and, 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 and he went down the road with his demons. Down the road with his demons. <laughs> Down the road with his demons. You know, there's some people I don't want in my church. You should take anybody in your church. I don't want devil in my church. People are demon possessed and try to disrupt the service and bring in Phil. You know, the hookers from off the street. You know, we got hookers walk up and down Ridgewood. Sometimes they come in here. When they come in, they try to come in, not much clothes on. And when they come in, you know what happens to all you fellas? When they come in, you go like this. That's what you do. Yeah, that's what fellas do. How do you know? I, I stand this pulpit and watch them. I tell them demon-possessed girls, get a shirt on over here. Get something. Get your thighs covered up. Get your breasts covered up. Don't come in here, Jezebel. Victor, do I do that? No, I do that. Here. Take any of the whole arm of God that you may be able to withstand the, the evil day. What day? What day is the evil day? Huh? Sunday. Well, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, evil day. Every day, evil day. Hatred, lying, stealing. Whole armor of God that you be able to withstand in the evil day every day. And having done all, what do you have to do to do all? Huh? What do you have to do to do all to stand against the evil day? What do you have to do? Put on what? Armor of God. How many pieces are to the armor of God? Six, 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 six. Six. Having done and having the breast prayed to righteousness. Stand there for having lungs. Gird about with truth. Okay, we got gird about with truth. Truth. Where do you find truth? Huh? Bible. The B I B L E is sex to book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B I B L E. Bible! Bible! Remember how we sing that in Sunday school? You know, we ought to sing that as adults, too, not just in Sunday school. A lot of them little old Sunday school, you know. A lot of little so Sunday school songs we sung when we were little and we sing with our children. We ought to sing them ourselves when we're alone, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Stand fast. Bible. B-A-B-L-E. Praise God. Your loins girded about with truth. Uh, which which piece of armor is truth? Loins are girded. Which, which number is that? Uno, number one. Uno, number one. Girded about with truth. And having the breastplate of righteousness. Someone thought that was the most important one. It is important because all six of them are important. But the Bible doesn't. God doesn't uh, present it as the most important. Then it says, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Go with the gospel. Christ died for our sins according to Scripture. He was buried. He rose again from the grave according to Scripture. Go with the gospel, the great commission given to every Christian. Not just pastors go with the gospel. Every Christian goes with the gospel. Lord's girt about with truth, having the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. How many do we have so far now? How many have we got so far? Huh? Three. 
Huh? Girt about with truth. Breastplate of righteousness. Feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. How's my Spanish, sister? Is it okay? Is my Spanish okay? Uno, dos, tres. See, I know Spanish. <laughs> I had two years of Spanish in high school. I don't know much more than uno, dos, tres. I know a sentence in Spanish. Here comes. K, and, and this is Castilian Spanish from Spain. This ain't Mexican Spanish. This is Castilian from Spain. Como se llama? What is your name? Como se llama? How, how about this one? K is el burro. What is the donkey? El burro is the animal de importante in Espanol. Was that pretty good? Wasn't bad, huh? See, I know Spanish. Poco. <laughs> Very little Spanish, I know. Very little Spanish. <laughs> Stand, therefore, having your learns going about with truth. Number one, having on the breastplate of righteousness. Number two, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Number three, who on those praise? One, two, three. Now here comes the biggie. This is the biggest. Above all, I said above all, above all. You know what that means? It's the most important. Above all, number four, and above all is what? The shield of faith. Above all, take the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all. Above all, you can, you can quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Oh, you know what that wicked is? That's the wicked one, Satan, the devil. That's what you can, you can quench all the fiery darts. That come, uh, where do fiery darts come out of? Hell. Hell! Nobody wants to preach on hell. No one wants to believe in hell. You're going go to go to hell unless you put on armor. Above all. Above all. Take the shield of faith. Which number is the shield of faith? Number four. Verse 16. Number four. Number four. Above all. Shield of faith. Able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. That's Satan. That's Lucifer. And take the helmet of salvation. Uh, uh, what is it? What is the helmet of salvation? You put a helmet on your good helmet. Uh, what does it protect? Your brain protects your mind, doesn't it? The devil ever, the, 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 the devil ever play games with your mind? Did you ever listen? Listen, church. Every one of us here, sometimes something will come up in our mind that we we doesn't something come in your mind sometime that the devil will hit your mind with that you can't imagine that you even thought it. Did you, that ever happen to you that you thought something that you can't even imagine you would ever think that? Have you ever done that? You know you have. Don't lie to me. There have been stuff come in your mind that have been so filthy and so wicked that you can't even imagine you ever thought it, but you had. Because you know, uh, uh, who do you think, uh, who, who do you think planted in your mind? Lucifer and his demons. Yeah, Lucifer and his demons. Yeah. Take the helmet of salvation. Protect your mind, protect your mind, protect your mind. What number is that? Huh? What number? Come on, tell me, talk to me, church. What number is it? Number five. Boy, the devil really keeping this out of your head, isn't he? Because you know why? You get these, you get these six and practice them all. Then you'll have done all, and what have you done then? You'll stand, and you won't fall. Having done all, stand. What's number six? The only offensive weapon we have. What is it? The sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Then praying always. 
Verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance. I mean, keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. All six of these. Put them on and you'll never fall. Put them on and you'll never fall. What's the first one? Gird about with what? Truth. Say it, church. Truth. Come on, church. Gird about with what? Truth. Number two. Breastplate of what? Righteousness. That's number two. What's number three? Feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Go with the gospel. Get people saved. Number three. Number four. Now, number four is the most important one. Number four is the shield of faith. Where if you be able to fit them, them, them darts are coming. Shield of faith. With faith, you can do anything. With faith, you can get saved. I got saved by grace through faith. I got saved. Amen. So that's where you got saved. If you didn't get saved by grace through faith, you ain't saved. You're lost as Hogan's goat and going to hell. Unless you got saved by faith. And the, and, and, and the faith that saved you will keep you. Shield of faith. Um, what's number five? Shield of faith, then what? The what? Helmet of what? Uh huh. Uh huh. The helmet. That's number five. Number five. Number five. Helmet of salvation. Number six. <laughs> Only offensive weapon we have. But did you know where all the, the first five all come from? The Bible. Actually, the armor is all found in the Bible. Remember what we sung about? The B-I-B-L-E is, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E Bible. You, you need to say this every day. Practice it every day. Then we'll be able to do what every day? Stand. And having done all to stand. How many of them with some little thought or some activity or something you did today that you let your armor down? Anybody do that today? You think about it. You think about it and you probably you figured out that you ain't kept it up like you should. Because that's why we fall, because we do what? We fall to the wiles of the devil, the tricks, you know? We fall. Year one, I need to preach on it more. Why do we fail, church? Why do we fail? Because we don't what? Have on the whole armor of God. How many pieces of the armor do we need to have on? All six, all six. Having done all to stand. How many of you say the devil bothers me sometimes? He bothers me. How many of you say the devil bothers me sometimes, does he? Yeah, you know that. Does he bother you? Does he bother you? Huh? Yeah, does he bother you? Yeah, he does, he does, he does. So what do we have to do? Put on a whole armor of God, then what do we do? Stand! Having done all to stand. Praying always with all prayer and supplication. Amen. In the Spirit, capital S. When it's a capital S, what does that mean, in the Spirit? What spirit is that with a capital S? Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. Amen. You got to pray in the Spirit. In the Spirit. And watching there unto all perseverance and supplication for all saints. doesn't say pray for everybody. You mean you shouldn't pray for everybody? It doesn't say pray for everybody. Oh, uh, uh, who does it say to pray for? The saved ones, the lambs. Huh? Is that what it says? Didn't it say? All saints. Yeah. Yeah. All saints. Who would you pray for? Save people. 
Folks want to go to hell and don't care about Jesus, let them go to hell. Huh? Huh? Yeah. So we try to get them saved, yes. But sometimes... Well, I claim victory. Claim victory over this foul spirit. I claim victory over this foul spirit right now. I claim victory over it. Over this foul spirit. Yeah, right now. Send it back to hell. For which I am an ambassador in bonds. And therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. <laughs> With the armor, we can do what? We can have victory over the foul spirits that attack us every day. They attack you, they attack me. Yeah. They're present here now. They're present here now. Go on back to hell, evil spirits. Go on back to hell. Go on back to hell. Devil brings them into church house. You understand that? Yeah. We don't see it as prevalent in America as we do in some of the foreign countries. But some of these third world countries where the devil is so prevalent, they've got corner roads that you better not ride your car on there again because you'll crash and get killed because so many demons on that corner. Yeah. There's, pr there's places in the world that are just demon soaked. You don't see it as much in America, but they're here too. Not as prevalent as some countries around the world. Yeah. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may be open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therefore I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. What's it all about? What's it all about? The devil drove the spirits out. You know what that was in here just then? Evil, foul spirits. The woman had, you see what happened to her? Filth coming out of her mouth, going on the floor. You seen it. You see, I seen it. Yeah. Go on back to hell! Go on back to hell! You say, well, I, I think this is, some, uh, this is strange, yeah? Don't you think that the devil is strange? He's real. Go on, devil! Back to hell! You say, you really believe that was demons? I know it was demons. I know it, I know it, I know it! You say, you're possessed with demons. No, I know demons. You know who's possessed with demons? Those that don't know about them and, 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 and think it's no. No, nah, it's just some sickness or uh, they got a mental disorder. No, they got demons, demons, demons. You want to let them take your life over? They ain't taking my life over. Aren't you glad we have the victory over Satan? What's the victory? Whole armor of God. Why do you think God at the last moment changed me to this subject? Because of that. Because of that, just walked out of church. Yeah! You think that's a force of evil? I know it. I seen it. I looked it in the face. Right in the face. He said, I'll believe that. Okay. Well, you just go on and let the, let the devil hog tie you. And you're going to fall. You're going to fall. Well, that's ridiculous, preacher. Yeah? You out on Facebook, too. Oh, that crazy preacher. Believes in demons. Yeah, you don't. They got, he, the demons got you hog tied, every one of you. Hog tied. Put on the whole armor of God. 
We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Put on the armor of God. Having done all, you stand. I'm going to stand. I don't know about you. You better memorize it like I did. How many are there? Six. What's the most important one? Faith. If you got them all on, what do you do? You stand. Having done all to stand. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, thank you. Whole armor of God. We looked it right in the face today. Glory. If you're not saved, you know it. Amen.